guys, Tommy Simbazo here from Gen Con 2018. I'm here with Chris Birch of Modifius. Yeah. Now, uh, now, Chris, what is this? What am I looking at here? Is it a Fallout tabletop game? It might be. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, we're creating Fallout Wastes and Warfare, which is a tabletop war game set in the Fallout universe, and uh, we're just launching in retail this uh, uh, by towards the end of August. Uh, it comes with a two-player starter set, which is in pretty bright super mutant radioactive like green <laughs> plastic and, and gray for the uh, survivors um, so it's ready to play out of the box and it is basically a narrative war game so this isn't about me versus you trying to kick ass okay we can do that okay. but it's much more about co-op play solo play telling a story on the tabletop it's very um, there's a lot of not just missions but quite in-depth story building you build your settlement okay there's through the game so awesome. you can just play a quick scenario but actually what you can do is uh, gradually grow your settlement and that's kind of like character development so if we find a laser rifle in the game we can't keep it for the next mission unless we've got certain workbenches okay. in our settlement so as we grow the settlement we like tick boxes and get cards for different uh, resources that lets us have more control over the cards that we can take into the next battle okay so you and are, there, are there different factions yeah so um uh, at launch we've got um uh, the super mutants the brotherhood of steel and the survivors which is kind of soul survivor preston garvey you know a lot of the characters you hang out with at the beginning yeah. of fallout 4 and that's going to be growing. You're going to be adding like vault dwellers to that, the Minutemen, the, you know, and, and other sort of little mini factions as well. So. This is all, how long has it been in development? Wow, like two years. Okay. So um, we spent a long time. We've like ended up having about 250 sculpts approved by Bethesda so far. We've been working really far ahead. So we've got like the whole of next year's releases all planned out and produced. We've gone nuts creating. I mean, let's face it, Fallout is just full of all these amazing characters. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I know people are really wanting to play groups of just heroes on the table and as well as build up massive Brotherhood of Steel factions. So we've been pumping all those characters into the game um, and just really building up that sort of characterful side of it. And I know there's a lot of people who want to play solo yeah. and the game's got a really vicious AI. This, this isn't an AI that moves towards the nearest guy and attacks. The AI will try and fulfill the objective and you can be trying to stop it and it's tough. Really, really tough. That sounds amazing, being able to play like solitaire, basically. That's awesome. Just you and me hook up. Like, we share our Brotherhood forces together. We pull our super mutants, going to defend our base against the super mutants. So, and that, and again, they will try and take out the objective. And, and we can just be trying to stop them. It's, uh, it's, it's crazy. Really good fun. Now, does it have a, uh, where is it, does, uh, does, is it based in somewhere? Like, it, there's been, it's been based in Boston and D.C. and Las Vegas. But it, it's, it's, everything's very Fallout 4 themed okay. at the moment. So, but uh, we're gradually doing um, other sort of Fallout 2, Fallout 3 factions and characters and creatures. Okay. And then that will gradually expand. We've got lots of missions that are kind of set in a factory, which could be anywhere. So it's kind of you can build your own campaign area. We've got lots of terrain coming from Fallout 4 that's, you know, obviously very familiar to the locations. And, uh, and then obviously just we've got more factions coming in the background, obviously the Enclave, the, in the Institute, the Raiders, we're all coming. We've got a massive Liberty Prime coming with a big special campaign set. Oh God, it's, it's like this big. <laughs> it's insane. And it's, it's, you know, there will be rules to use it later in the game, but for now it's more like a collector's piece. Okay. And we're going to have a campaign where you're trying to build Liberty Prime or you're trying to find the weapons that will stop Liberty Prime. So it's like a whole storyline. You, you don't need the model to play it, but having it on the table is going to be awesome. So. That, that sounds amazing. Well, Chris, I, I can't wait to play. When is it coming out? When can, when can we get our hands on it? So it's going to be in stores by the end of uh, August, and it's £60, so about, uh, I think, depending on... On the tariffs? How, on at tariffs and how screwed up uh, the British government is over Brexit. <laughs> That's kind of around 80, 85 bucks. Okay. Uh, and then so the, the starter set is in PVC, pre-assembled, ready to go. You can also get a resin version of the starter set direct from us. The rest of the range is in beautiful, high quality resin uh, miniatures, but these aren't resin miniatures that have got like 27 pieces. They're like a so small number of pieces, great poses, very easy to put together because I hate having to kind of yeah. fiddle yeah, with tweezers and stuff. And yeah, yeah. So it's it's really, we've really thought about, you know, gamers trying to put it all together. And, uh, and, the, and the quality is amazing. We're really happy with it. So. Well, that, that sounds amazing. Thank you, Chris, for showing me the game. Thanks, man. Check it out.
Thanks for watching Game Trade Media. Make sure to leave us a like and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content.